I've got nylon strings on my mind. I'm going to show you how to tie them right, tie them quickly, and I'm going to tell you the pros and cons of using nylon strings today on Banjo Quest. Okay, nylon strings. The strings I'm using in this video are the Aquila Reds. The reason why I like these Aquila Reds is because they allow me to tune up to G standard concert pitch and to double C. Okay, we are over at the desk. Let me just show you how to quickly do this. We're just gonna make a loop. This is a piece of yarn, by the way, not, a, not an actual string, but I thought for visibility it would be easier. So I make a loop on one end, pinch the loop together a little bit, then I tie a square knot in the loop, and that's it, you're done. So this ends up being the loop here that goes around the no-knot tailpiece or the hook on the tailpiece. You'll have this little tail here and you can just, you can trim that with a pair of scissors or I use needle nose pliers to kind of crimp off this. What do I have here? Some craft scissors. Take that off the end and you're good to go. You put that around your tailpiece, tighten it up and you're done. And this is what it looks like when it's all said and done. I'll trim that for you. I trim it, I leave a little bit of a tail there just in case. You can see it's not super accurate, but uh, it really gets the job done and it's a very quick way to get up and running with nylon strings. All right, so let's answer your second question. Why bother with nylon strings? Why not just stick to steel strings? They come out of the package with the loop you smack them on the banjo and you're done. Been used for decades, right? Yes, steel strings are awesome. I love a set of steel strings on my instrument, especially if I'm playing up into A or D, but I'll tell you what, I'm not playing with many people these days. It's kind of solo around here because of the pandemic. So my ears have just sort of naturally gravitated towards these lower tunings and boy, do these low tunings sound amazing with nylon strings. The other reason why you might wanna try nylon strings on your banjo is if you're recording. I found steel string banjo to be incredibly difficult to record well. I've been recording it for decades now and it's really tricky to get to sound right and full. I think that's the thing. Steel string banjos can often come across as either sharp or anemic, thin or brittle or ear stabby it's hard to record the banjo because it's a mix between percussion and strings. These nylon strings, for whatever reason, are much easier for me to record. I can get great sounds out of the microphones from these nylon strings, and I think it has to do with the way it handles the transients or the attack of your notes. It softens that bleeding edge of your sound. Microphones like that a little bit better. It's a little bit more friendly to recording equipment. So I find I get a much richer sound out of my recordings when I'm using nylon strings. All right, so we should just put nylon strings on every banjo in the world and it will be a better place. No, steel strings still have a place. They are incredible. I use steel all the time. Nylon strings have a lot of weaknesses. One of the weaknesses of nylon strings is that you can't get them tuned up very high. You either have to go with a short scale instrument or you need to buy the super high tension nylon strings, which I don't think sound great. They don't take the high tunings well unless you have a short neck. So if you wanna play an A or D, eh, nylon strings are probably not the best bet for you. I'd go with steel instead. The other reason why nylon strings are a little bit of a pain is that if you've got a banjo set up for steel, your choices in the nylon world are limited unless you wanna change your bridge and your nut slots and the pip. Don't forget the pip as well. The reason I like these Aquila Reds is I can just kind of slap them on any banjo that's set up for steel and they work pretty well. They're not perfect. Uh, in fact, on this instrument, they tend to sit a little proud on the nut it's all good, it still works. I don't get any weird buzzing, it still sounds. Give nylon strings a shot. It could open up some new tonal possibilities. I find I do different moves when I'm playing nylon strings than I do when I'm playing steel. And when I'm done playing nylon and I go to a steel strung banjo, 
The other added little benefit, at least for me, is that I feel like my touch is just a little bit lighter. Nylon strings demand just a slightly more finesse-based approach to the instrument, and that really pays off when you go back to steel. I can kind of carry that technique building when I go back to my steel strum instrument. So give them a try. They're easy, they're cheap. Let me know how they sound. Let me know your experiences with nylon strings in the comments below, and I will see you next time on Banjo Quest.